to the special episode of Future Female Forward as we mark International Women's Day. If you have to be, you have to be your own cheerleader. That was tennis legend Sanya Mirza's message to young girls as she bids adieu to tennis after a glittering career. Mirza is a six-time doubles Grand Slam champion and she's called on young girls to develop a thick skin. I spoke with Sanya in Dubai. This was her message to young aspiring girls and women. Listen in. Biggest strength that you can have, belief in yourself. And if you're not your biggest cheerleader, God knows there's nobody else out there. Because especially as young girls, um, you know, and, and playing a sport, like I'm just trying to draw a parallel. Anytime you start try and start doing something new, you're more often told you cannot do something than you can. You know, and that is just how it works. That's the, that's the nature that we live in and the society we live in. The minute you say, I want to do something outside of that again, but what makes you think you're, you can do it? Nobody's ever done it. I mean, yeah, nobody's ever been number one in the world from our country, but I got there, you know. So that is the belief that you need to have that you are, um, you know, how to become the best version of yourself, how to get the best out of yourself. You know, you're, you're in, in the public eye, you're being scrutinized, you're being judged, you're being evaluated every single decision of yours on the court, off the court, is up for discussion and national debate. Uh, how do you develop that thick skin where you say it's okay for me to make the choices that I'm making without seeking external validation? Actually, at 36 today, I can tell you that it's a lot easier. But trust me, when you put a 16-year-old, that's when I first had my first tryst with media, um, you know, and I'm like, oh my God, like all my friends are just worried about how to bunk school and meet boys in a coffee shop, and I'm here sitting in front of a you know, press conference and they're asking me questions about world and I'm like, what am I doing? You know, it's very difficult. I'll tell you a story. Yesterday I was, I was on a flight to Mumbai and um, uh, Harlene Diol, who's a 24 year old cr cricketer, the women's world cup cricket team was coming back and she was sitting right next to me. I actually didn't know her name. I knew she was a cricketer because I saw her and she started talking to me. And uh, she was so sweet and she was so nice and she started asking me, you know, just these questions because I've also signed with a cricket league just yeah. now. So yeah. she was like, I'm so excited you're coming to cricket. And she was, I mean, she was so young. And uh, I said, oh, you know, bad luck. You guys lost. You had a solid tournament in the semifinal. And she was like, yeah, but the media, they were killing us. They were just, they were so after us. And she's like, M it's been four days since they lost. And she was like, I'm still thinking about it, I don't know. You know, they're still, they're still talking about how badly we played. And I said, but if you're going to let, if you're going to take four days to get over a loss, Harleen, it's going to become very difficult for you. Like, trust me, you need to take a night and you need to get over it because that's the only way athletes can work. So these are the kind of athletes, that's the pressure you feel when you're 24, you know, where she's thinking about it for four days, she's sitting on a plane and she's like, I'm going for IPL now, but they're still, imagine I have to face the media and... It's, so it is something that all athletes deal with and I think people sometimes forget that we are human. Um, they forget that we have, we feel emotion, we're in a high pressure job um, all the time, you know. Uh, if you have a bad day, maybe you'll know about it, maybe your family will know. If we have a bad day, the entire world knows about it and they write about it and they have an opinion about it. And imagine dealing with that as a young, um, you know, young 24 year old, 22 year old with that much spotlight on you. So you have no choice but to be thick skinned because if you let it get to you, you're not going to get there. I promise you, you're not going to get there because you'll have multiple breakdowns in, on the way, and especially today with the way media is.